Ladies and gentlemen, it is Andrew Ray. Thank you. Thank you so much. What well, an introduction. Oh my gosh. It's so impressive what you've done. Ooh, I feel impressive, which is rare. Thank you so much. Wow. You deserve nothing less. <laughs> good at that. But today, we're going to make something special. Tell us what it is. So you guys were cool enough to get me into a screening for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which I'm so excited about. And I was, I was on, on the lookout for food, that's my job, mm -hmm. uh, to see if there's gonna be any food in it. And I was thrilled to see some pizza. And uh, so it had peppers, it had uh, zucchini on it, and because they're in San Francisco, I think it was a sourdough pizza. So that's what we're gonna make today. I love sourdough. I love sourdough. It's my favorite of the bread. Yeah. The carbs. It's the All first right. bread, yeah. Uh, let's start the uh, good. <laughs> you take over. <laughs> I'll you follow make the you. Big pizza or the little pizza? Oh, um, we can start with the little pizza. Okay. All right. So they brought out this little tiny pizza and they put some 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 Ant Man stuff on it and blew up. So, I like using for a white pizza because it looked like there wasn't any red tomato sauce. A Bianco. Yes. I Bianca. Like using, uh, pizza Bianca. Yes. Mm. I, I I don't get that right either. The, uh, I like using bechamel. So now, we have to sort of cheat today. Okay. Because sourdough, if you're on Instagram, you know everything about sourdough. And uh, it, it, it takes a solid week to cultivate because you're using wild yeast. You, know, you need to let them grow and eat and all this stuff. So we're making a cheater's sourdough starter. Uh, this is, right here, this is the starter. You can <gasps> see it's alive and well. So this is just uh, equal parts flour, um, white flour, rye flour, and water, and a big heaping teaspoon of yeast. Let that sit overnight. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, my next shortcut, hack, cheat, is to make this dough in the food processor. So we're adding that to the food processor along with, I think it's 350 grams of bread flour. Okay. And we've got a lot of sugar, yeast loves sugar, so that's two tablespoons of sugar. And then it's a little bit more yeast just to make sure that, you know, just in case these guys didn't make it through the night, we got some extra backup. Okay. And then we're gonna cover this up. Yep. And then we've got uh, 180 mil, I think, of ice cold water. You want it nice and cold. Ice cold. Turn this guy on. Emulsify while it's spinning. There it goes. You're gonna see it turn into a ball of dough as it goes around. Let's pretend that was 45 seconds and you Perfect. have a fully kneaded pizza dough. And then you would top the rounds with the bechamel. Yes, so we can do that if you want. Perfect. I feel like I'm doing everything here. Do you want to do? do you... Oh, I know. I'm, I'm like just sitting here chatting yeah. with you. Why do you, you do the cheese? The cheese is the funnest part. All right. So let do me I get sprinkle? The rest of this stuff on here. Yeah, just sprinkle it right on top. Okay, perfect. Awesome. And then this pizza had zucchini and little uh, sliced bell peppers on it. Look at their on top mini. Of that. Yeah, they're tiny little guys. Oh, you know what? I forgot. What? Oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot about our little guy. Oh, no. <laughs> do we have many zucchini? Uh, he but gets look. one zucchini. And you have to the baby. <laughs> and a little pepper. Okay, so should I? Can I? Yeah, go for it. Cover it. Okay, we've dressed Sorry. our pizza. Time and temp in the oven. You want your oven as hot as it will possibly go. You want to preheat it for an hour before, before with a pizza stone in it because you want it to really blast so it with heat. So in, you know, in life we would take both of these and they would go over here. We're just, they're gonna oh. just disappear. All right. Oh, there's the oven. Okay. Um, there's the oven. <laughs> and then we're gonna bring over this guy because all I wanna do is get it into my mouth. <gasps> and it's so cutter? hot, by the way. I don't know. Should we just eat it? Yeah. just dig in? Exactly. Well, Andrew, we heard that you were celebrating something very special, <laughs> and I was wondering if you would stick around um, to close out the show with us. 100%, I'd okay. love to. When we come back, I'm going to sit down with one of the stars of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, William Jackson Harper. I can't stop subbing my page. We'll be right back.